Remember when you used to think a shed was just an out-of-the-way place to keep old gardening tools? These days it's more likely to be an extra storage space for some of your valuable possessions. Unfortunately, being exposed to the elements all day, every day, means the felt on your shed roof won't last forever. You should check it regularly, and if it looks like this, or there are any leaks, replace it as soon as you can. New felt will keep your shed watertight and protect its contents, as well as prolonging the life of the entire shed. Available in a wide choice of colours, mineral granule coated shingles overlap to create a good looking waterproof finish. Refelting your shed roof is a straightforward job. You'll need good quality felt and a few basic tools including a hammer, tape measure, utility knife, preferably with a hook blade, and galvanised clout nails. If access onto your shed roof is required to carry out the waterproofing, ensure that it's strong enough to work off. Also, take care when you're cutting the roofing materials, and if using a straight blade, always ensure that you make cuts on a sound, even base to avoid damaging the materials beneath. Now let's look at fitting felt roofing shingles. First, pick a dry, still day. For best results, the ambient air temperature should be above 5 degrees Celsius. Then, unroll the underlay onto a clean, flat surface 30 minutes before you need it so it has a chance to flatten out. It's best not to use your lawn for this as some temporary yellowing of the grass may occur. Carefully remove timber fixing strips as you may want to replace these once the new felt has been laid. Then remove the old roofing felt and check the surface of the roof. Hammer down any uneven boards and make sure any protruding nails are removed or hammered flat. Then fix a glass fibre or polyester underlay onto the exposed roof. The underlay should extend beyond the roof edges by 50mm and overlap by 100mm. Once the roof is covered, turn down the edges and nail it at 300mm centres. Next, you need to make the shingle strips for the roof edges. Cut off the tabs from a single shingle strip to create the detailing pieces. A tip when cutting shingle strips is to cut from the back, as shown, as this should enable the membrane to fold and separate easily. And it will also avoid damaging the knife. These shingle strips should be positioned extending 50mm beyond the edge of the roof, and then nailed at 50mm centres. Take care when folding these edge pieces, and in cold conditions you may need to warm the material first to make it more pliable. If you are using hexagonal shingles, you will notice that there is a self-adhesive peel strip on the back. Leave this in place until just before you are ready to fix the shingle strip to the roof edge. At the corners of the roof, cut the roofing shingles to allow an overlap when folded around the corner, and nail this in position. To set the first row of shingles, you will need to trim some material from one edge of the shingle strip before fixing them at the eaves. With the square butt shingles, this should be 125mm, or if using hexagonal shingles, trim off 166mm. You'll need to do this for all odd-numbered rows. Use bituminous lap mastic to seal each tab at the lower edge of the roof, and apply continuous bead 25mm back from all perimeter edges. This helps to provide added security, particularly in exposed locations. Use whole shingle strips for the second and all even numbered rows to create a staggered effect. Nail them 25mm above each cutout and 25mm in from each edge. The bottom edge of each row should just overlap the top of the cutouts in the shingles beneath it. For square butt shingles, there should be about 145mm of each tab exposed, or with hexagonal shingles, leave 135mm. Once you have worked your way up the slopes of your shed, you should be ready to apply the ridge detail. At this point, it's important to measure the distance between the final courses of shingles on either side of the roof, in order to ensure that there will be sufficient overlap of the ridge detailing membrane. 
On the final course of shingles, make sure that no more than 143mm of tab will be exposed once the detailing ridge material has been applied. To carry out the ridge detailing, cut the individual tabs from a strip, mitred by 40mm as shown. On the roof, again use a chalk line or straight edge to ensure correct positioning and alignment. Starting at one end, locate the tab with the mitered edge pointing along the ridge. Nail into position as shown, ensuring that each ridge shingle overlaps the previous one, exposing approximately 145 millimeters. To seal lap joints and open ends, apply a bead of lap mastic around the perimeter edges of overlap sections. On the last cover strip, apply an extra bead to ensure a secure bond. Finally, reinstate any timber strips and barge boards to complete the perfect job. Just a few hours work will dramatically improve the look of your shed. You'll not only increase its lifespan, you'll protect everything inside it from the worst of the British weather.